So the final thing we're going to be looking at in uh, studying binary trees is a certain application of them, and that's in the representation of uh, mathematical expressions. So the basic form of an expression, let's remind ourselves, is having an operand, an operating, an operator, sorry, and another operand. So we're all familiar with, for example, say 4 times 3. This would be a mathematical expression, or 4 times you could replace 3 by an x. And uh, um, this would qualify as an expression. And the reason why binary trees are really well suited to represent these expressions is that binary trees have two children. So this could be represented by a parent node, and the 4 and the x, or the 3 or whatever that number happens to be, could be represented by the children of that parent node. So these, this, this is the basic form of an expression, and we could always uh, have more complex expressions combining multiple ones of these basic forms. And uh, um, for example, if we looked at this expression, it's still relatively simple. Um, we have three ways of, of uh, representing this expression, actually. First, and the most common one, is the infix representation. Uh, the infix representation puts the operator between the two operands. So, in this case, here's how we represent it, as we're all familiar with. Um, and if we had a smaller example, it would be just that, so 4 times a. Then there are two other notations which not everyone is familiar with, but are very useful because they actually have the precedence of the operations built into their uh, representation. So for example, in this case, when we talked about infix, how would we know what to evaluate first? Is it 2 to the 3, or 3 plus 2, or 4 times 3? We would actually need explicit precedence rules. Someone has to put the parentheses. We actually have precedence rules that you follow and you learn in grade school. Um, in the case of prefix and postfix, the prefix is also called Polish notation, and the postfix uh, is called uh, reverse Polish notation, um, we would have them built in. And uh, if you looked at this, for example, uh, the, the prefix actually just puts the operator before the two operands. And the postfix puts the operands first, and then finally the operator. So if we were to express this expression, it would be first plus, okay, and then multiply, and these two would be actually the operands applied to the multiplication. And then you would have raising to a power, and then these would be your two operands. So what you're basically saying is that first you have to carry out this, and then carry out that, get your result, and then apply this addition to these two operands, the two resulting operands. And similarly with the postfix, what you would do first is 4 times 3, 2 to the power of 3, and then finally, once you have your two results here, these will be two operands, you perform the addition. So we can see that we're actually given the order here. If you follow it in this direction, or if you follow this, the prefix uh, notation in this direction, you would actually perform the operation uh, of the, 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 ex the uh, evaluation of the entire expression in the correct order. So they are built in. So whoever is going to write the prefix notation or the postfix notation will actually build the, the precedence rules inside them. So we don't have to worry about pressing those. So it becomes easier to actually parse through these and perform the operation based on the order in which they are placed. So the expression trees, this is binary trees to represent this operation, and this is a binary tree to represent this. So we have our multiplications, raising to the power, and the addition. Uh, and then when you perform this, you will get an operand. You perform that, you get an operand. Um, so how do we evaluate an expression tree if we have something like that? It's relatively simple. It's a recursive function. There's a base case. So if it's a leaf node, we're just going to return that leaf because it will be uh, definitely a number or, or a variable. And if it's not a leaf node, then it's going to be an operator, definitely, because operators are not leaf nodes in this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to get the operand as our left. Uh, we're going to first get the first operand by calling that function once more on the left child, get the second operand by calling that same function on the right child, the operator is the root element itself, and then we're going to evaluate this function. First operand, second operand, and the root, the root being the operator. And this will be our result, so we'll return that. And this is a recursive function because we're going to keep on calling it in case there are more expressions underneath. And how do we evaluate an expression itself? Not a tree, but for example, if we had a post postfix expression, how do we evaluate it? Well, you just step through the list, and while that pointer that you're using to step through is not null, you